Rolex releases 2022. Love them or hate them. Let's talk about it. <laughs> yeah all right welcome back family welcome back uh if you like watches and uh you've been under a rock for the last three years you don't know who i am i am richard prophet the last dragon of the watch community and welcome welcome to the prophet rolex and real estate channel well we talk rolex man we love rolex so Rolex has released the watches for 2022 and there's, there's, there's a lot of chatter. There's a lot of chatter on websites, on YouTube, on Instagram. There's a lot of crap going on. So I want to talk about it. So let's get started, fam. Mm -hmm. Cheers, fam. All right, so Rolex has dropped. You know, Rolex has dropped. And uh, they, they let go a lot of watches. There's a lot of watches this year. Uh, the OP Tiffany has been discontinued. But they got some answers to it, in my opinion. So we're going to talk about <coughs> the new releases and the ones I think are going to be sleeper hits and winners. All right, so let's get started. Where are we going to start? But from the beginning, we have to start from the king of all Rolex, the big boys, the day dates, right? Rolex dropped a couple new day dates, three new day dates, and we're going to talk about it. Let's pull them up. All right. So we got the big boy, the day day 40 in platinum. I mean, like it or hate it or love it, the day date. It's a classic Rolex quintessential. It's not going anywhere, no matter, you know, how many people say this or that. The date, the president Rolex, a.k.a. The, I mean, the day date Rolex, a.k.a. the president, uh, you know, it was 36. It was 41. Now it's 40, which people have pretty much. All the, you know, agreed on all around the world that 40 in the day date president is the perfect size. So it's not going anywhere. So Rolex kicks out the day date 40. All new model for 2022. Uh, in platinum, in platinum. So let's take a look at it. All right, so... You got the day date. You got the pla you got the president bracelet, fluted bezel. You know, classic day date uh, batons or stick markers. You know, whatever floats your boat. Uh, with the ice, what, what they call the ice blue dial. So yeah, it's classic day date. It's just platinum. Uh, it must be heavy. It must it must really have some heft to it because a gold solid gold watch has a lot of heft to it. But platinum must really have some heft to it. So, you know, that's a classic piece uh, if you can. And, and they say price on request. So, you know, that's not you know, that's grown man status right there. That's a big boy status. You get that, uh, you know. You're wearing something there, you know what I mean? Probably. You know, Super Collectors, The Machine, The Ghost, uh, uh, Bud, my boy Bud. You know, these the Super Collectors, they'll probably get that. And uh, yeah, it'll be a welcome addition to any Super Collectors uh, collection. All right. So, yeah, they date 40 in Platinum, a.k.a. the president in Platinum. All right. Let's move on to the next one. So couple years back, Rolex had the, uh, 
it was rose, the day day president rose gold with the olive green dial with the Romans. It was like an anniversary edition. I believe it was the 60th anniversary of the day day uh, edition. And, you know, that one was in the window. They couldn't sell it. But then all of a sudden it went crazy. And uh, yeah, now it's going for, you know, whatever it's going for. So now Rolex has thrown out another day date aka the president with a green dial all right so let's take a look at that one yeah so this one rolex president obviously you know everything fluted president every with romans i love a president with romans uh so but this one has a green dial but it's not the uh, not to be confused with the olive dial it's kind of like that Rolex green, like that darker green, like the Rolex green. It's not really a lacquer look. It's kind of like that Rolex green. Like when you go to the uh, Rolex headquarters, New York headquarters, and you see that green, this is kind of like that green here. And uh, it's got Romans. I mean, this is a beautiful watch. I know I know my boy, I know my boy uh, Birdsong, he already told me, your profit, that's the one I want. Uh, so this is going to be an instant classic. Uh, this is one of those watches and the price is $37,450. Now I understand a pro you know, I understand that's a lot of money. I understand it's a lot of money. $37,000 for a watch, uh, no matter who you are is a lot of money, but here's my point. Relatively speaking, $37,000 for an all go a solid gold watch with a date function. With a date function, it's not a lot of money. Actually, it's actually inexpensive. I, compare it. Do your homework. Compare it to another solid gold watch with a date function. You can't find it for $37,000. You know, you might get something double that. Uh, and, and, and to me, my opinion will be an inferior watch because for me, Rolex is king. I am the last dragon uh, in Rolex. You know, I'm diehard Rolex. Uh, from the cradle to the grave, I would love Rolex. You know, Rolex is, is, is me, Rolex. So... For thirty-seven thousand dollars, a classic, beautiful president like this, green dial. If you love green, green is my favorite color. This is a win. This is a win. I know Bird Song said he's going to pick it up as soon as he gets the call, and uh, you know he, his AD calls him pretty regular. This is this is a win, man. This is a win, win all day. This, I, you know, I'm going to go on record right now early here. I'm saying this very early. No one else has said that. This watch here will double in value. Once they don't make it, once they discontinue it, probably in two years from now, this watch will double in value. I said it here first. Uh, you heard it here first. Right. I, I'll be honest with you. If I get the call for this watch, I'm, I'm copping it, man. I, you know, I'm getting it. Even if I'm not in New York or wherever I get the phone call from, I'm picking that up, man. I mean, my AD doesn't even call me anymore. I got an AD in New York. I got an AD here in uh, Florida. Oh, as a matter of fact, we are still in Miami. You are in my kitchen, in my condo in Miami. Uh, yeah, I got some couple of things I'm still working on. And we we bought some, we bought a new building in in Florida, not in Miami, in a new city in Florida. I mean, uh, I, I'm not ready to say it yet because, you know, I, I was screaming Miami, Miami, Miami. Now the whole world is here in Miami. Uh, so, you know, this new city, we just copped a new building and I'm going to start screaming it so my property values can go up because people love whatever I'm saying. They want to follow what I'm doing. Follow me. That's fine. We can all make money together. You know, my thing is I want to share with all my with all my friends, with all my followers, with all my family. I have to share that's fine. So I'm going to make a video about it and I'm going to mention it and we're going to go up there and we're going to start working. So anyway, I'm going to say it right now. This one. Oh, 
what I was saying was my AD never calls me anymore. I used to get called, you know, at least every other week. I used to get called for my AD, but I never get called anymore. Uh, the last couple of watches I've been blessed with was the Ghost. He he bless, you know, he gets called like every day from his AD, but he blessed me uh, with the last couple of watches I got. Oh, and the Ghost, uh, congratulations, brother! Congratulations on your new house. Uh, he just bought a new house actually about two years ago. Now he bought a new new house, uh, double the size, yeah, double the price. Just beautiful. I mean, he's enjoying the trappings of success, man. You know that. You know, hey, I always told him, you know, you're just one idea away from setting the whole world on fire because he's a super talented guy, and he's got he's got beautiful people around him. And he's got his family with him, and he's just on fire. And he deserves all the success uh, that he's he's reaping right now because he's just a fantastic guy. So congratulations to you, brother. Congratulations on your new house. And as soon as I finish in here, I'm going to drive up to the new spot. Once I'm finished there, I'm going to drive up to you. So uh, uh, have the scotch ready for me, brother. I'm coming to see you. All right. Let's move on. So that is the green day day. Now for this next piece, right? Rolex threw another day date out. Now, if you're an, if you're a celebrity or if you're an entertainer or whatever you are, it's been customary that you would buy your factory day date, plain Jane, as they call it, plain Jane, and you would take it to a jeweler, whether you're in New York, uh, you go to 47th Street, whether you're in Florida, you go to Cebo building, and you would add diamonds to it. You would add diamonds to the bezel, diamonds to the dial, whatever, and they would call it bust down, you know, bust down Rolly. Where they got that stupid name, it makes no sense to me. Don't ask me. I don't know. But they would call it a bust down Rolly. Now, I want to get deep into that. I'm going to make a whole other video about that with a couple examples to show you, but that's not for this video. So, but yeah, it's called a bust down rolling, but it's ridiculous. You know, that's just dumb. So, but they was taking a lot of money for years out of Rolex's pocket, you know, and it just, it, it just, in my opinion, it just dumbed down the brand with this crap, the bust, you know, it was just stupid. Yeah. It bust down. You're right. It was busting down the brand with this crap aftermarket you know, aftermarket bezel, aftermarket dial. I mean, they were even putting these aftermarket garbage, you know, in, in, in the bracelets. And you don't know what you're getting. You know, these, re you know, these, these, these jewelers, they're giving you whatever, you know, they're giving you super low quality dial. They're even giving you some, in some cases, cubic zirconias. Every other stone is a cubic zirconia, you know, you can't, you know, so Rolex decided, look, let's cut the crap. And they released a bust down Roly President Factory. Let's take a look. <laughs> I mean, this is a fantastic, fantastic watch. If you're into flash pizzazz in your face, take a look at me. Listen to what I'm doing. You know, this is the watch for you. I mean, it, 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 you know, it's a yellow gold day date 40, AKA president, right? Diamond, you know, like my four, you might like my president. It's got the baguettes, the diamond baguettes. Okay. I understand that, but it also has diamond dial flooded flooded diamond dial diamond baguettes on the markers on the batons diamond dial flooded and diamond bezel flooded oh man that's it the bust downs are you know you got a gar you're wearing garbage if you're not factory flooded you're wearing gar you know that's not even a rolex in my opinion this is straight from straight from the factory straight from rolex all the diamonds you could possibly want. Now, when I was in Vegas, I saw one just like this, but it was 36, but it also had diamonds down the bracelet. I mean, it was a fantastic watch. It was a fantastic watch, but 
it was a 36. So, I mean, unless you're buying that for your wife, men just don't wear 36 anymore. I mean, 36 for men is over. I'm sorry. It's over. So, yeah, uh, this watch in 40, which is which has already been, you know, it. Rolex tried 36, they tried 41, and it's, they just came back to 40, and they understood that 40 for a day date, aka president, is just the perfect size. Whether you're, you're in the U.S., whether you're in, you know, any part of the world, a day date 40, classic, perfect size. That's just what it is. And now you can get, if you're into diamonds, if you're into shine, if you're into all this, loud in your face look at me boom you you can get it from the factory in 40. uh it says price upon request so this is one of those pieces that again again a lot of money probably probably if i was to guess I would say that this piece is probably going to run $80,000, $90,000 maybe. Profit, oh, that's a lot of, oh, I understand, I understand. $90,000 for a watch is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I understand that. But let's take a look at the watch again. Let's take another look. All right. You have an 18, a solid gold watch with a date function. Flooded with diamonds. Now, let's remember, Rolex uses flawless diamonds. This is not garbage, you know, SI, you know, this is, these are flawless diamonds. So you got the baguettes like mine on, 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 on the markers, whether you call them batons, whether you call them stick mark, whatever. You got the baguettes. And then your dial is flooded. And then your bezel, your bezel has these big diamonds on it. I mean, come on, man. Come on. I understand you know, 85, 90, whatever, maybe 100 is a lot of money for a watch. I understand that. Granted, that's a lot of money. I agree with you. But relatively speaking, for this kind of watch, all that you're getting here for that money uh, is a little bit of money, man. It's a little bit of money. Now, me personally, if you ask me, this is a, a, a friggin' winner. If I get the call on this, I am copying this. I am copying this. I'm not gonna hold my breath, because like I said, my AD doesn't call me anymore. But if I was to get the call on this, I mean, it would be a lot of money. I, yes, it would, but this watch is a winner. I mean, this, is a, this watch will be, you know, it would just be classic for years. I, I could see Elton John wearing this watch. You know, this watch is 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 what they call bust down, but it's factory. It's flawless diamonds, and it's on a president. I mean, this is a fantastic watch. This is a straight up winner. If you get the call for this, and you don't want it, please call up the Dragon, and I'll and I'll take you to dinner, man. Anywhere you want to go. Uh, and I'll jump in and I'll pick this up for myself. Uh, yeah. Fantastic watch. Dragon approved. Rolex, you got another winner. All right. So let's move on. So those are the presidents. Those are the day dates uh, that they offered. Now, let's go on. Uh, what's on? Okay, we're going to save that one for last. So... All right, now we got the Air King. 
So Rolex is saying that this is a new model for 2022. You got the Air King. All right, let's take a look at it. Yeah, all right, so you got the Air King. I mean, I remember like back way, maybe 20, 25 years ago, I remember the Air King was like the entry level Rolex. It was like, it was like $2,000. Anybody remember that? Leave it in the comments below. The Air King was $2,000. It was the entry level. It was, you know. Uh, but the Air King's come a long way, man. I mean, you know, you got, what do you got? You got a, you got a steel watch on an Oyster. 40 millimeters. 40 millimeters on an Oyster with Rolex in green. It looks beautiful. And the crown, yellow gold, you know, yellow on the top. With the seconds in green, smooth bezel, crown guards, just clean. It's just all the way clean. And you got a price of $7,400. I mean, this is this is a slam dunk. This is a fantastic watch. And you, and you know what I think they're doing? I think because the OPs now are impossible to get. The Tiffany's been discontinued. Uh, they need something to... St to step into place. Um, in my opinion, the o this Air King is a fantastic starter watch, man. You want to get you want to get your son a wedding gift, even your daughter. You want to get him a beautiful or or or, or the bride and the, and, and the bride and the groom. You want to get them both something beautiful, wedding gifts. You know, you get them a couple of Air Kings. This this is for seventy four hundred dollars. This is a no brainer. I mean, it, smooth bezel on an oyster steel, Rolex in green. I think it's a beautiful watch for a very little bit amount of money. Not even relatively speaking. This for a Rolex watch, $7,000 is a little bit of money. It's to me, it's a no brainer. If you walk, if you never seen a Rolex before and you walk in an AD and they have an Air King available for this little bit of money, you better buy it. If you don't buy it and you leave a comment below that you passed it up, I'm going to track you down and I'm going to stick my foot. You already know what I'm saying because this watch really is a no brainer for this little bit of money. This and, and, and it's a good looking watch. I mean, for me personally, I would give it as a gift because I like personally, I like a date function on my watches. But uh, this is a good looking watch for a little bit of money, and it's a Rolex. Uh, you know, it, you know, it'll outlast you for sure. Did I show it to you? Let's take a look at it. Yeah, man, that's a fantastic watch. The green just shouts out at you. I mean, it looks great. Again, if you must have a date on your watches, like myself, I like a date on my watches. This watch is not for you, but if the date is not your thing, then this is a fantastic watch. For, relatively speaking... <coughs> A little bit of money man and it gets you in the door seven thousand dollars it gets you in the door you are now in the game you're now a player you're a contender you're the watch community you got a rolex you got an air king you know and uh yeah nobody you know nobody can say anything to you you got a beautiful rolex on your wrist yeah so yeah i like that one as well all right so let's move on now we're not really going to talk about the 36s, like I mentioned. We'll have an honorable mention at the end of 136, but we're really going to talk about 40s or 41s, all right? So let's move on to the Datejust 41s. Like Rolex just threw out a slew of Datejust 41s. Uh, and in my opinion... These are hits. These are sleeper hits. Uh, and they're really going to like 
you know, they're really going to steal the game. They're going to steal the market. I mean, I understand the OPs, but remember, the OPs were very cheap. You know, they were 5900 but they were impossible to get if you could get. I was offered, you know, a handful of them at one shot. I didn't take it, but, you know, I was a little disgusted. That's all. I made a whole video about that. I'll leave it at the end if you didn't see it. If you've been uh, asleep for the last year or whatever, you didn't watch that video. But I'll include it at the end of this video. But these watches, the Datejust 41s that Rolex just threw out. Uh, again, another thing. You heard it here first. I think these are going to be fantastic watches. And these are going to be the sleeper hits, man. So they made blues. Blues on oysters and jubilees and greens on oysters and jubilees. And we're going to get into them here. All right. So let's get started. So the first one. Uh, okay. So they just 41. New model for 2022. It's on an oyster. The dial is like this beautiful green, you know, Rolex green, stick figures, uh, stick markers or batons, whatever you may call them. Let me show it to you. I mean, are you kidding me? This is a beautiful watch. This is a beautiful watch. Oyster is on it. It's a 41. It's on an oyster. It's a beautiful green. The dial is a beautiful, it's a beautiful green. Smooth bezel. I'm not really a smooth bezel kind of guy, but if that's where you at with it, smooth bezel, beautiful green. 41, so it's a great size. It's on an oyster. It's a steel Rolex. And a $7,900. I mean, this is a win. This watch is a win. They just 41. They brought it into the winner's circle. This watch for $7,900 is a win all day. If I was to get a call for this watch, I would just buy it. I don't, you know, I, w I you know, I would just buy it. Whether it's your everyday watch whether it's your going out watch, you're going to a wedding, this watch is suitable for all occasions. This is a fantastic, whether you're giving it as a wedding gift, to your daughter's just getting married. This beautiful, my green is my favorite color. For 7,900, I understand profit, that's a lot of money. I understand $7,900 maybe for a watch is a lot of money. Again, I'm gonna say that a lot during this video. Uh, take a look at this watch. Take a look, another look at this watch. This is a beautiful watch for 79, oh, it's a lot of money. $7,900, relatively speaking, for a steel watch of this caliber, is no money this is to me in my opinion it's when you know it's a date it has a date function it's rolex steel it's on an oyster which is probably one of the best bracelets in the game it's beautiful green and the seventy nine hundred dollars you got to be kidding me. This is fantastic. Just like I said, the OPs were going to be a hit. This watch, this whole line, because Rolex just threw out a whole lot. You know, they got they got, they got got them on an oyster. They got Jubilee. The whole Datejust 41 line for 2022, I think it's going to be a sleeper hit. People don't like Datejust, but they're going to love these. These greens and these, these greens. We're going to save the other color, but these greens and uh, are fantastic. All right. So, yeah, for $7,900, that's a no-brainer. Okay. It's a no-brainer. Let's move on to the next one. So, 
The next one. They have the same watch, but on a Jubilee. For those of for those of us that love Jubilees, I mean, I love the Oyster, but I also love the Jubilee. They have the same watch for you on a Jubilee. Let's take a look at it. Boom. You got the same you you got the same Rolex date just. Smooth bezel, smooth bezel, same thing, smooth bezel. With that beautiful Rolex green, baton markers, date function, which again I have to have on my watches. I love a date function on my watch. You got a date function. But for those of us that love a Jubilee bracelet. Me, you know, I, I love them both, but I also love a Jubilee bracelet. So, you know, whether you're Oyster Man or you're a Jubilee Man, for those of you, us, that love Jubilee, they're giving you here an option of getting this watch green steel date Jubilee 41 for eight thousand one hundred fifty dollars, they just forty one for eight thousand. I mean, again, again. I understand eight thousand dollars for a watch is a lot of money, but relatively speaking, this is a fantastic watch. You got a Rolex, you got a steel Rolex, date function, beautiful green, on a Jubilee bracelet for eight thousand dollars. I understand all the releases Rolex made in 2022. I understand. But to me, in my opinion, these date just 41s just stole the show, man. These are wins. These are these are beautiful freaking watches. They got them in oysters, jubilees, whatever your dial choice. They got them in an oyster or a jubilee. I like the way they did it this year where they got the, this is the model, but we have it in an oyster. Or a jubilee, whether you're an oyster man or you're a jubilee man, whether you're an oyster woman or you're a jubilee woman, we got you covered. I mean, it's, these watches are fantastic. For this little bit of money, you can get a Rolex on a jubilee for eight thousand uh, dollars. This this is a fantastic watch, man. For this little bit of money, I mean, let me show it to you again. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Look at that green. Look at that's a Rolex green. Look at that green. That's a win in my opinion. All right, let's let, let, let's move on to the next one. So we have another date just date just forty one. All the date just we're talking about tonight are forty ones. So we have a date just forty one. On an oyster this one also has a green bezel but it's kind of I, I, I know there's a name for that bezel but I'm sorry dial dial it also has a green dial I'm sorry I, I you know it also has a green dial but it, it's like in layers I know there's a name for it. it it just escapes me now but it's a green dial with these layers um, on an oyster uh, let, let me show it to you Yeah, man, another another fantastic watch, another beautiful watch. So it's a date just forty one with this green dial with like these layers in it, layers in the dial, which kind of make it like like three D ish, which makes it pop out at you. I, I, With a date function, new model 2022, $7,900. I mean, oh, man. These are, in my opinion, these are 
well, for damn sure, they're a step up from the OP. I know the OP is a runaway success, but these are a damn sure step up from the OP. And uh, I, to me, in my opinion, I think Rolex just took the Datejust to the next level. Like, ah, people look down on the Datejust, but these watches are fantastic. You got you to gotta steal Rolex. You got a Rolex. You steal Rolex. Oyster or Jubilee. They give you a choice of Oyster or Jubilee. With these beautiful dial configurations, beautiful dial colors. You got a steel Rolex with a beautiful dial with a date function at the perfect size, 41. I mean, many many say 40 is the perfect size. But others argue 41 is the perfect size. But anyway, you got a steel Rolex with a beautiful dial, 41 size with a date function. For seventy nine hundred dollars, yo, I'm not even gonna say. Oh, right, I didn't. I'm not even gonna say that anymore. Seventy nine hundred dollars for a steel Rolex, modern Rolex. So you know you get the extended power reserve. You get all that with a date function on an Oyster or a Jubilee. For this little bit of money. I mean, Rolex is really like, I remember like I was screaming Rolex, Rolex, and everybody was like, oh no, but what about this? What about that? The Holy Trinity? And I was like, no, Rolex is the king. And every, no, no, you know. And now everybody's on, jumped on the bandwagon. Oh yeah, Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. You know, where I'm telling you that these new date just 41s that Rolex has thrown out this year, these are no-brainer watches. They're fantastic. Just like I told everybody five years ago, Miami, 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 and nobody, everybody, oh, Miami's a dump. Okay, now the whole world, the, all the dollars in the whole north are here in Miami trying to invest. By the way, we are in my condo in Miami. Uh, you know, I'm still here shooting this video. I'm going to a new, another city. We bought a, 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 a new building in another city. It's in Florida. It wasn't in Miami, but uh, it's in another city. I'm not going to mention it yet because I'm going to make a couple of videos about it. And then uh, we're going to put it out there. And I'm pretty sure once I mention it, you know, a lot of people are going to come and bring their up north money down to the city where I'm talking about. But, you know, that's fine. I got to share. I'm fine sharing. You know, I, you know fo follow me. Follow me. You know, take my investment advice because, you know, I want us all to win. Everybody here, my friends, my brothers, my family, I want us all to win, you know, and, and, and take my years of experience out here. And because uh, lately I, I, I just been like, you know, I posted on my Instagram, Profit Rolex and Real Estate. I, I posted, I just been like King Midas lately. Everything I've touched has turned to gold. So, you know, I've been saying Miami, Miami. For the last five years, nobody's been listening. But now the whole world is in Miami, and everybody's winning. You know, your properties have doubled in the last from 2019 till now. Your property has doubled. So this new city that we're in now is going to be more of the same. So follow me is you know is going to be my mantra for 2022. Winning 2022 is what we're talking about. So anyway, getting back to this Rolex watches. These Datejust 41s for $7,900. You get a green dial, oyster bezel, date function Rolex. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come. You want to see it again? Let me show it to you again. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know, let's just move on. All right. So now, as we talked about, they have that same exact watch on a Jubilee with a white gold bezel. I, again, another no-brainer. Let me show it to you. Now, this is a watch, beautiful Rolex green dial, stick markers, 
date function, or you know, steal on a jubilee for those that love the jubilee, or you want to just mix it up in your collection, throw a jubilee in there. But you want a little gold in your watch, so now throw in the white gold bezel. For ten thousand uh, dollars, come on. Well, the the exact price is ten thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. I mean, let's take a look at. It. What Rolex has done this year with these date just I mean, I know a lot of people are talking crap, but they're overlooking these date justices. Trust me, trust the dragon when I tell you these date just are going to be sleeper hits. These are fantastic Rolex watches for a little bit of money. For a little bit of money. This is something that will outlast you, you know. This was something you can pass to your son, you can pass to your daughter. It will 100% outlast you. And it's just an investment, really. For those of you who say, oh, you know, hey, okay, take your money out of the friggin' bank and put it on your wrist. And this is something you can wear for free. I mean, I'm not one of those guys that talk about investment watches or whatever, but if you are, you're sitting on your money, you like to see your money in the bank, your money, is, I don't care if you're a private client, you know, like myself, you know, you're not making anything. You're losing money by keeping your money in the bank. Now, if you take your money out of the bank, if you're not in, if you're not actively investing your money, like you're doing this, you're doing that, whatever, don't. Have your money sit in the bank. Take your money out and put it on your wrist, man. And this is, again, this is something that you can wear for free and appreciate and love. And, uh, you know, when your time comes, you can pass it to the next generation. Yeah, so. Again, it, it, you can get any date just 41, 2022. If you can get any one of them, any one of them in any configuration, Jubilee, Oyster Smooth, or Fluted. Pick it up. Pick it up. All right. Uh, you know, let's move on. Let, let's just move on. Check this out. Check this out. We got another date just 41. Beautiful. Beautiful. Green dial. It's a, this is beautiful green dial. Fantastic green dial. Smooth green dial. Uh on an oyster on an oyster for those of us that love an oyster bracelet you know probably one of the best bracelets in the game the oyster and the jubilee are two of the best bracelets in the game but let me show you this watch yes that's a date just it's a date just 41 i understand it looks like it might be like white, you know, it's a date just 41 on an oyster. Steel, it's a steel. I know it looks like it could be white gold. No, it's a steel watch. It's on an oyster. The bezel's white gold, though. The bezel is white gold. It's on an oyster, 41, beautiful Rolex green. And that's like an, to me, it looks like anniversary green. But anyway, beautiful Rolex green, white gold bezel. Baton marker stick, whatever you say, with a date function. For ten thousand dollars. Come on, man. This watch. I'm gonna go on record right now and say this is probably the best release of 2022. I, I understand like the Air King is gonna be a hit. I know that. 
Uh, I wanted to leave, leave it for last, but I'm going to throw out there the GMT Master 2 and this watch, the Datejust 41 in green, white gold bezel, date function, oyster steel, $10,000. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I would wear this watch probably every day. Every day. That's not a ten thousand. That's not a ten thousand dollar watch. Let me show it to you again. This is a fantastic. This is a watch that. can carry you for the rest of your life. If you were a one and done kind of guy, you walked in the AD, they had this in the window. They had this in the display case. Or the AD took a liking to you and he called you and he said, hey, hey you know, hey Bradley, I got this, come on down. One and done. $10,000 you're in the door with this watch. <sighs> to me, it's a fantastic watch. You got steel and you got gold. You got gold. This watch has gold on it. It's not just a steel watch. The bezel is gold. And it's a fantastic, so you got steel, you got gold, you got this beautiful Rolex screen, you got a date function. Come on, man. It's waterproof. It's a Rolex. This watch, this watch can take you to your son's ball game or can take you to your daughter's wedding. It's an extremely versatile watch. It can be dressed up or dressed down. Uh, this watch is a, is a hit. It's fantastic. And it's $10,000, really? For a one and done watch, 10 grand, that's it. I'm in the game. And I can stay right here. This is a fantastic watch. All right, let, 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 let's just move on. All right, so the next watch. Is the exact same watch. Oyster date just 41. Of course, you got your date function. You got your white gold bezel. You got your green dial, but the dial is a little different. Let me show it to you. As you can see, this dial <coughs> is a little funky, right? You got like the layers. I know there's a name for it. I've, it escapes me, but again, 10 grand, fantastic watch. Take a look. So we've already covered that. So let's just move on. 10 grand, they just 41 with the like layer dial, white gold bezel. So that's it for the green dials, they just 41 Rolex releases. So they also gave you blue, they also gave you blue, and I. <laughs> I don't know, but it's just the way that Rolex does blue to me. I, I I understand I'm a Rolex fanboy, but the way Rolex does blue to me is just fantastic. So anyway, Rolex Datejust 41. So just by the name Datejust, you know you get a date function, right? Rolex Datejust 41 on an Oyster, on an Oyster. Smooth bezel. Baton markers or stick markers. Blue dial. Check it out.
For those of you that love blue, it's like a deep, rich blue. It's a Rolex on an oyster, smooth bezel with that like rich blue dial, date function, 41 oyster. $7,900. I mean, you, to me, these are the new OP41s. I mean, really, Rolex has really dragged Datejust out of the, uh, like, ah, you got nothing else, I'll take that. Out of that market and thrown it into, I'm looking for a Datejust market. This is a fantastic watch for $7,900. That blue, you know... Green is my favorite color, but these blues look beautiful. Uh, $7,900. I'm pretty sure they probably, if following, if it's following the green, they probably also offer it on a Jubilee for maybe a hundred bucks more. I mean, these are no brainers, man. If you can get your hands on it, just throw this in your box. Move on. All right, uh, let's just move on. That, just like I said, the next watch, they just 41 steel. Date function, beautiful blue dial on an oyster. Take a look. I'm sorry, not an oyster. We just covered an oyster. On a Jubilee bracelet, on a Jubilee bracelet. I mean, so what Rolex did was they got you covered, man. They give you a beautiful watch. And whether you're a steel man, I mean, whether you're an oyster man or a jubilee man, whether you're an, whether you're an oyster woman or a jubilee woman, they got everybody covered. They covered Everybody with these releases, these date just forty ones, they really covered everybody, man. And I think this this watch. So on the Jubilee, it's a little more money. It's about a hundred bucks more. It's eight thousand one hundred and fifty dollars on a Jubilee. So it's actually what two hundred fifty bucks more. But everybody knows and everybody agrees that the Ju Rolex Jubilee bracelet is one of the most comfortable bracelets in the game in the watch game period over all genres so if you want a beautiful comfortable watch that will 100% outlast you and you love the color blue this is it take a look at this watch All right, you can't get a Pepsi on a Jubilee. All right, you can't get a Batman on a Jubilee. But if you get this date just 41 on a Jubilee, blue blue dial, you're winning, man. Who's going to tell you anything? You're winning. You pull out that watch, beautiful, beautiful. Fantastic watch. It's only $8,150. Fantastic. I like that Rolex, right, has made these beautiful timepieces, these beautiful watches at, again, relatively speaking, an affordable price point. But this whole crap now with the flipper scum and whatever, you can't get these watches, you know, that, 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 you know, that, that, that's really disgusting to me because... They make, they're making these watches so that, you know, people that want to get in the game can get in at a lower price point. But, you know, this flipper scum are just, you know, ruining that for everybody. But, you know, kudos to Rolex for trying, you know, for trying, for trying to, uh, you know, Include you know include you in the in the game, man. Now, just remember, it's the flipper scum that is keeping you out.
of where you belong, of where you worked hard to be, man. Worked very hard to be. Uh, so, yeah, the next time you see somebody that tells you, oh, you know, I, I wonder how much that watch is going to go up. You know, I want to buy, you know, slap him in the face, man, because this, this type of, this type of person is keeping you out of your rightful place in the watch game. All right, let's let, uh, let's move on. Um, wait a minute, what was that? Okay, so that was smooth bezel. So. Now they have that same watch. Rolex has thrown out that same watch. Date just 41. Blue dial. On a Jubilee. Fluted bezel. Take a look. So everybody that knows Rolex. You love Rolex. You know fluted bezel means precious metal so this watch this they just 41 steel on a jubilee beautiful blue dial baton markers white gold bezel white gold bezel for ten thousand two hundred and fifty dollars come on man come on man this this Again, another watch that could be your one and done if you're a Jubilee man or a Jubilee woman. You got a date, you got a beautiful blue, and you got the most comfortable bracelet in the game. For $10,000, another winner in my opinion. So, I mean, I know Rolex just threw out some day dates, which are winners. I know they threw out the GMT, uh, you know. But to me, to me, in my opinion, these date just 41s, are they really going to be sleeper hits, man? They're really going to be sleeper hits. Whether you like the blue or whether you like the green, whether your favorite color is blue, whether your favorite color is green. <sighs> You got them on an oyster, and you got them on a jubilee. They, they, they. You know, they've included everybody, and for this, these affordable price points, I think these watches are fantastic. Way better than the OP, in my opinion. In my opinion, uh, yeah, man. If you can get one, forget about it. Now, so now, last but not least. Let's talk about the watch that everybody's talking about, the, 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 the watch that's on everybody's lip, lips, the smack across the face at the award show watch that we're going to talk about now. That is the Rolex GMT Master 2 Black Green Bezel. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> There's already a lot of foolish, you know, a lot of names circling about. Uh, I've heard the Heineken. I've heard the Sprite. I, you know, people just throw it. Who knows what's going to stick, you know? But I've also heard the Dragon. You know, I thought I named the Dragon Watch. But anyway. You have a GMT, you know, well, if you've been following Rolex for the last couple of years, you know that GMT is the hottest uh, in steel. GMT is the hottest thing on the planet. Um, so here you have a uh, a steel black and green uh, GMT, man. Black and green GMT. Uh, let's take a look at it. Yeah, man. Uh, there you go. Uh, hey, is it gonna be a winner? Uh, you know, most definitely. Um, most definitely. Any GMT in the last couple of years, at least, has has been you know a home run. You know, 
you know, or runaway successful rollers. But what makes this particular watch special is the fact that it's inclusive of all the left-handers in the world. Now, Prophet, what are you talking about? Now, what I'm going to tell you is, if you didn't take a good look at that picture, we're going to discuss it. So, not since... Pull up the picture. Let's look at it. Not since the Rolex King Midas has there been a watch with the crown on the left. For those of you that are left-handed, you know what I'm saying? But Rolex took it with this particular watch a step further because if you notice, not only is the crown on the left, a lot of people just oversaw that. They didn't. A lot of these watch YouTubers, they didn't even mention this. But not only is the crown on the left, the date is on the left. So it is actually a proper left-handed person watch. Now, what do you mean, profit? What do you mean the, the date is on? Take a look at this watch. You see the date? That's on my right hand side. With this new watch, black green GMT 2022, this date, this this date Cyclops is over here, along with the crown. Yeah, Rolex really what they really did. Uh, not since the King Midas has a crown been on the left, but. Now the date is also on the left. What they've did was they turned the game inside and out, man. You know, again, Rolex is leading the way, man. No one else, I don't care. Ah, the Holy Trinity. I don't care what you're talking. No one else has done this. Uh, in a modern watch, you got left-handed crown, left-handed bezel. So what that did was include everybody that's left-handed, it gave them a watch just for them. Uh, I mean, hey, you know, I think that was a, this is a fantastic, fantastic option. For the, my wife is left-handed, you know, so I know that, you know, there's left-handed people out there, man, you know, there's left-handed people out there. Just like there's short people out there, there's tall people out there, there's skinny people out there, there's fat people out there. So the thing is that you don't want to have to conform always because you may not be what the vast majority of people are. So like everybody in the world is not right-handed. So, but if you were left-handed, you had no options, man. You had to get, you know... A right-handed person's watch, but now Rolex has shut that down and gave you the hottest watch in the game. The GM Rolex GMT2 Master is the hottest steel, is the hottest watch in the game right now. And they gave it to the left-handers. Take take another look. Did you look? Did you see? Take another look. This was just for now. Are collectors gonna buy the squatch or you know flipper scum gonna get their hands on the squatch? Who knows? But what this watch was designed for was my left-handed people, man. And you know, for too long, if you ask me, in my opinion, for too long. The left-handed people have been kept out of the watch community or they've been made to conform to a right-handed watch. For the first time in history, you get a proper 
left-handed watch with a date function. Now, this watch is 11,050 bucks from your Rolex AD. That watch is, that price is kind of irrelevant because you're not getting it, especially not if you're a first time buyer, but I'm calling out to all my collectors right now, to all my super collectors, to all my, you know, Rolex men and women with a spend history. If you get a call for this watch, the Rolex GMT black green left-handed swing, if you get a call for this watch, I want you to pick it up and if there's anybody on your phone that's left-handed and would love a Rolex, I challenge you to call up that person and offer him or her this watch. Not only not only would you impress me, but you would impress God up above that's watching that you blessed another person with one of your blessings. I'm Richard Prophet, the last dragon of the watch community. Yeah, a lot of people talk crap about these Rolex releases, but I love them. I think the Day Just 41s are sleeper hits, and I love the official bust down Rolex from the factory and this left-handed GMT for my left-handers in the world. Like I said, my wife is left-handed. If, if all of us out there, all of us Rolex collectors or Rolex VIP, VIPs, um, if you can just call one, if you get the call for this left-handed watch and you don't court it, you don't collect it, you don't, you know, you don't, you just call a left-hander that you know and you offer him this watch. I'll bet Jesus will smile down on you. I'm your host, Richard Prophet, the last dragon of the watch community. I am blessed. I am blessed. And uh, everybody on this channel really uh, is blessed. We're blessed to be here. We're blessed to be in the watch community. We're blessed to, uh, we're fortunate enough to, uh, you know, have, dis you know, disposable income, discretionary income where we can buy these beautiful timepieces and, uh, uh, passing down to the next generation. Uh, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having a drink with the dragon. And uh, I love the family, man. I'm with your profit. This is the Profit Rolex and Real Estate Channel. And uh, I'll see you on Sunday. Ah! Boom! <laughs>